All right, all right, all right. So listen, guys. So uh, on this episode, we're going to talk about an organization, all right? We're going to spend this entire episode talking about one organization, and that organization being a SEAL, okay? A SEAL is an award-winning, U.S.-based, impact-driven tech company onboarding artisans from underdeveloped countries to the digital economy and sending direct transparent aid to those who need it most, okay? So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how they help the kids out there in Afghanistan. We're going to talk about how they help the women and the also uh, physically and mentally disabled people as well make a living in the 21st century. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned and tap in. Let's get it. It's just late. It's your boy, D. I'm sorry. in a home room. All right, y'all. So a seal. All right. So a seal. A seal is a. You know what? I'm gonna bring it up on screen so y'all can y'all can actually see this stuff. Uh, let me put it up on screen. So, all right. A seal. Let me move that back. All right. In 2020, okay. And uh, yeah, in 2020, they were a top global 100 startup uh, for entrepreneurship of the World Cup. All right. And then in 2021, Society for International Development, U.S. Finalist Emergency Response for Afghanistan. All right. They've been featured in uh, premium. uh, Yeah, I guess I can call those premium media services such as uh, Time, uh, the Washington Examiner, the New Humanitarian Podcast, PBS NewsHour, BBC World News and Al Jazeera. All right. So. Out the out. The ASEAL handmade platform was launched in Afghanistan Embassy in D.C. in 2019 with a mission to onboard global artisans to sell their to sell their products globally. And I don't want to sit here and just read this whole time um, to sell products globally. OK, and then within the four, first four years, um, they've averaged 24 uh, percent growth. Um, for all onboarded uh, vendors, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're able to sell like a thousand uh, products globally. Uh, pickup companies, so your uh, pickup countries is Afghanistan and uh, Turkey, where you can actually pick up the items. Uh, you, it's over ten thousand plus handmade products online. Um, so basically, uh, without without a seal, artisans from all of the Nuristan have no other platform to sell their handmade products on, which is which is um kind of true, especially considering the things that happened in Afghanistan, you know, the recent um turmoil, um, the takeover of the of the Taliban, you know what I'm saying, the restricting back of women's rights, and, and a lot of the stuff that they do here um actually helps keep those women out of poverty because a lot of those women, um, their husbands end up dying due to um, the violence that has occurred out there and um, different things of that nature uh, because it was been, it's been relatively unstable. Um, <clears throat> so they can sell their products with anyone in the U S Australia, Turkey, and globally soon. Okay. So they have, they have license and, and, um, and business agreements with U uh, S Australia and Turkey. Uh, 42% of all their sales globally, through um um a seal so that that's due to the gut um and that's uh, like i was saying due to the collapse of the afghanistan government um in fifth in uh, august 15th um the fall of the government we expanded our offerings by not only selling afghan products in global markets but also providing a platform that empowers people globally to support humanitarian response inside of afghanistan so now so now they actual um, they have ways to actually like go help. So if you go on their website, you're able to go help these people. Who in the world is calling me from Kansas City? Um, yeah, you're able to actually like touch touch in, tap in, and actually help those people. All right. So they've helped 31k families. Uh, they have 220k individuals supported. 15 food packages donated. 15k, excuse me, 15,000. Food packages donated, 5,000 first aid packages donated, 
2,000 life packages donated, 28 cities covered, uh, 7K, 7,000 baby care packages donated, and um, 180 active at all, all right? So um, how they do this, all right? They give OMID IDs. Um, a beneficiary is identified by a volunteer or by a funding partner before the packages, da, 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 da. the head of the family is then provided an ID, the AMID ID created by a seal, which can be used to validate them for uh, future purchases, which is a very smart system. Like I, I, I'll give them that. This is a very, this is a very smart, smart system. All right. Um, the Atlan network, all right, which is uh, 500 individuals, um, which acts kind of like Uber Eats like drivers and they have primary tasks which is um they just they just drop off food to people that's it they just crowdfunding campaigns um so basically they allow donors to donate to different people's campaigns and help them out um and that's all done through the mid id all right so you might be wondering all right so what else what else what else does this company do all right so cool let's 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 tap into that let's tap into that so they have something that's near and dear to my heart um, uh, we have, they have a child relief program. Okay. So they're helping children. All right. And I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Um, so a seal is an app. Okay. It's, it's on iOS, Android, and they have a, um, a website, obviously. Um, excuse me. So they got two, they have a seal buy good and a seal do good. All right. The buy goods meth mission is to create 10,000 jobs in the handmade, sector of Afghanistan, and we expanded uh, by our buy good section in Turkey. We are we try to support artisans by creating a global international market for them to obviously put their uh, products in. The do good is what we just read below. They have the mid ID system. Um, and then they um, they fund support uh, treatment of the mo moderate acute mood malnutrition uh which is called shorthand ma'am and the severe acute malnutrition sam uh emergency assistant uh emergency support packages to children uh in need uh let's see what else we got currently 1.1 million children are on the cups of acute severe acute malnutrition um and life-threatening life-threatening without uh treatment we are working on child nutrition, uh, malnutrition, and planning to distribute RUSFs to children who it, who are in need of support, urgent support, and distribute uh, around a thousand bars to malnutrition children after successful surgery. Survey, excuse me, not surgery. Survey. After a month, we will evaluate the health status of the beneficiary and collect. Uh, feedback, not collect funds, just feedback. Um, let's see. They have medical experts on tap. Uh, they're very transparent. Um, so you can find that you can track every dollar through their platform and see exactly where each dollar is going. So you no longer have to wonder, oh, I wonder if they actually spent that money on that. They actually provide that for you in app. Uh, then they sponsor or orphans and poor students' uh, education. Uh, they also provide emergency aid for orphans in uh, Ghazni's province, Afghanistan. At, at the end of the day, they're like feeding orphans. They're helping these children, uh, like, you know what I'm saying, like that are working, actually be able to go to school and educate themselves so they can do more with their life. Uh, they they help with winter relief. So when it's too cold, they're able to give them st uh, clothing, the clothing necessary, the food necessary. And I know what you're thinking. Afghanistan is hot. It doesn't get cold. News flash for you. I will let you know by personal experience of being over there in the Middle East. It does get really cold. Um, working children, winter relief aid. Uh, they have the child and family relief round two which is just a re-up of the same program and basically it's it's okay we helped you out the first time now let's help get you past that point and get you to the next level 
then you have um um help uh help me support book and pen education center for afghan children in uh Purim province um which again um they're helping uh they're helping children learn how to read and write there and the thing is they're also able to you know what i'm saying through this educate girls on how to read for children seeking and learning knowledge yeah they, they're, they're helping them grow you know what i'm saying especially the women because if you don't know anything about the middle east um women aren't given the most rights out there they're not they're not it's just just a fact um uh help working children of bat the man bagan go to school um so they're helping these children get schooling um and and food you know what i'm saying and again like helping them get a better right birthday fundraiser for um in Indria Children's Hospital. So basically, they raise funds for the children that are in this hospital to get um to have a you know what I'm saying to have a good birthday. You know what I'm saying, which I, I think is freaking incredible. To you know what I'm saying, even though you're going through those harsh conditions and environments, you know what I'm saying, whether it be like bombs blowing up or things of that nature, where you end up in a, or you're just critically ill and you end up in a hospital, you're still able to celebrate and have a good birthday uh, fundraiser. For Omid Farad Orphanage. Um, so yeah, they, they fundraise for that orphanage. Funds for Henna's treatment. So they help. Uh Henna is an adolescent born girl, uh adolescent girl born with patent ductus accrutus, a wow, uh, a heart condition that can be deadly if left untreated. Please contribute to so basically um on her on the website, you're able to contribute and you're able to help her uh get um the treatment that she needs um Abarim's cancer treatment so uh he had acute he was diagnosed with uh Philadelphia chromosome acute lymphoblastic leukemia he's currently in Pakistan and undergoing chemotherapy acute lymphoblastic leukemia requires an extensive treatment program that typically lasts between two and three years goodness gracious due to the current situation in afghanistan airburn's family have low financial income and it's almost impossible for them you know to cover these bills and yeah um if you want to they're trying to raise sixteen thousand dollars if you want to help them again tap in on the website it will be linked in the description down below uh yeah and that's and that's that. That's that stuff. All right. So now, now to um, I kind of want to talk about like some a good story. Okay, a good story. Now, um, there's a woman by the name of I hope I get your name right. If I don't, I'm sorry. Rose Rosan Dialan, um, and she sells hand um handicrafts. Rosan Dialan's hand handicrafts. Um, they're selling from Afghanistan. Uh, you know what? That's not her name. Her name is Malika Famia, uh, a native um, Afghanistan uh, ba of the Bamian province, uh, established hope for independence at the age of 10. She initially believed that her blindness, OK, because she's blind, would prevent her from achieving academic and professional success. However, she began her studies at Lisa Malaska Nabiana, a school exclusively for blind students, where she could learn and memorize the Holy Book Quran in addition to her other academic courses. She became motivated and optimistic about finishing her studies as a result in and in addition to her interest in school subjects. Malika discovered weaving as a skill in the fourth grade. Malika began her weaving career there, but she also began to learn music and attend exhibitions where people were amazed by her products. Maliko has high hopes for her company and believes that by collaborating with Asil, she will be able to increase sales and thus create more job opportunities in the country. The brand's growth vision is to gain traction as a globally recognized brand capturing Afghanistan's roots while paving the way to the future by partnering with Asil's online platforms. All right. So that's that's Malika's story, okay? And again, if you want to support her or any of the people mentioned in this video, please, please, please click the link in the bio, okay? Click the link in the bio, okay? It will take you to their website. 
Um, so I'm going to give now, I'm going to give my personal thoughts, um, on the organization. Um, so, and, and kind of give some, some back clarifications. So, uh, they reached out to me via, um, via Twitter and they asked me, Hey, if I would be interested in covering them on my podcast, I said, certainly, because, because I looked into what they were doing. I went to their website through the Twitter account and I realized they're doing some good things and I support anybody that's helping people not suffer okay helping people build themselves up and be able to be independent and um and um and not not starve and like and like become more on their own um so that's that's what attracted me to this organization um i'm a firm believer in like just just people in general deserve um a good life you know what i'm saying not not the i'm not saying you deserve the best of life and the best of things um, cause I haven't, I haven't had like the best of things, but I'm, I'm very fortunate to be born here in America. Um, can, all things considered. Um, and I, I really feel like, um, we could all do more to support each other globally. And I think once we look past whether what, um, cause e even as, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm a, I'm a Christian myself. Like I, I you have to see the humanity in other people you know what I'm saying? Whether whether they they're Muslim, whether they're of a different race, whether they're of a different nationality, um, you you need to see their their humanity. And I'm for anybody that's bettering the human experience for anyone. Okay, again, I'm for people that are bettering the human experience for anyone. Okay, that's making a anybody that can make a bad situation better. All right, I'm for it. I support it. And um, I, I really, really hope that um, all of you guys um, really just tap in and help them, help them get towards their goal. Um, but yeah, so they reached out to me. Um, they asked if I'll cover the video, uh, cover their company and cover their, uh, cover the, the stories of uh, the different people affiliated with their organization. I agreed. I said yes, because like I said earlier, but I want to clarify that I have not been, I did not get paid for this. OK, they just kind of just asked. They sent me the stuff. I said, yes. So this video is not sponsored by anyone. It's not paid for by anyone. I, I'm not getting paid for this. Um, this was just um, I felt like the, the right thing to do. Um, I mean, because initially, because in all full transparency, because that's what I try and do here on the podcast. Um, I I thought, you know, what I'm saying they were trying to pay me. But then they were like, no, we, we can't, we can't like, you know what I'm saying? We can't afford that or whatever, whatever it was, whatever, whatever it ended up being. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I'll still do this. Um, it took me a bit longer to do it um, just because of um, other pre-existing obligations. Um, so I, um, I apologize to them there, um, but here it is. Um, and I would like to say um, through all the things that I've seen and through the information that I've given, um, it looks like a good company that's doing a lot of good things out there. And I wish them much success in continuing to do more good things um, for the people everywhere, because it looks like they're just they're trying to expand globally everywhere. And um, hopefully um, they just continue to do good for everyone. Um, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this company in the in the comment section down below. I'm, I'm smooth and um, I'm up out of here. Peace. Y'all have a good one.